Hello and welcome to Edusati. We will be now doing transformation of graphs. This topic is very very important because this will help you in solving the questions very very quickly. So let's look at the first transformation. You are given a function y is equal to fx is equal to x square. Now this is a quadratic function that you have. You can easily draw, draw the graph of this function. Now I know the graph of this quadratic function would look something like this y is equal to x square. Now instead of this if I have to draw a graph that look like gx is fx plus a. So there's a transformation or, uh, or um, an increment which is happening in the output and the function is given as x square plus 4. Now I need not draw the graph again and again for this function. I can transform the original graph that I know into the new graph by shifting it. Now this shifting can be either upwards or downwards or rightwards or leftwards. So by shifting the graph I can get a new graph for a function which is x square plus 4. Similarly if another function which is given to me as fx minus a that means it's a decrement that is happening or the function I'll take will be x square minus 4. Now for hx and gx the graph could be drawn based upon the graph of fx. This is how the graphs would be shifted. Now I know the graph for fx. fx is the graph which is given by the blue line which is fx is equal to x square. The graph for fx would be this one. The graph for gx which is an increment which is in the positive direction will move upwards. So this graph instead of being at 0 0 would move up and the point of minima would be at the point which is 0 4. So this will be the graph for x square plus 4 or any graph which is x square plus a will be moved up by a places that you have. So in this graph gx would be similar to the fx graph just shifted four places up and hx will be a graph which will be shifted four places down four places or a places so if it is minus a it will be shifted down by a places the purple graph that you have is the graph for x square minus 4 that will be the graph that will be shifted down four places. Now whenever you are doing a shifting on the axis, you do it from the point of minima or maxima. So that point of minima or maxima, which is actually this point, will be shifted up or down depending upon if it is a plus a thing or if it is a minus a thing. So this is the first transformation that we'll be looking at. So fx is equal to x, sorry, fx is equal to x square, you know, x square plus a would move up by a points and x square minus a would move down by a points. Let's look at the second transformation. The second transformation which I'm looking at is a change inside the sign. So initially the change that I've look, looked at was x square plus 4 or x square minus 4. Now what I'm looking at is this change is inside the square sign is inside a x minus a. So it will be x minus 4 whole square that is the gx and the hx that I'm taking is x plus a or x plus 4 whole square. I know the graph of fx I can draw the graph of gx and hx without you know uh, doing anything new just by shifting the graph. Now this is the graph for fx or fx is equal to x square x minus 4 whole square if you have x minus a whole square or x minus 4 whole square minus a whenever you have the negative inside this sign it will be shifted towards right and a places a places on your right so this was x minus 4 this point of minima will be shifted four places on the right because at x is equal to 4 my output would be coming out to be 0. So this will not move towards the left side this will be moving towards the right side and if it is x plus 4 whole square 
or if it is x plus a whole square it will be shifting on your left by a places so what you have is a places shifting on the left the point of minima will be shifted four places on the left why because if you look at the function that you have x plus 4 whole square the minimum point has to be at x is equal to some point where fx is coming out to be 0 so here fx will be 0 if x will be minus 4 so that means this point will be shifted towards the left with four places this point will be shifted towards right so if if you look at it if the change is outside the square side if it is plus a or minus a the graph shifts up and down if the change is inside the mine inside the square sign the shift is towards the right or the left so it was was x plus a it will be on the left if it is x minus a it will be on the right shift that it will be taking place the third transformation that we'll be looking at is combining both the things that we have just learned so it's a transformation which is inside and outside again fx will be drawn then the value of gx would be drawn basis upon both the things I can first do this thing then this thing that means I will shift if since it's a minus thing it will be shifted plus 4 or 4 places on right so do that thing shift this graph to 4 places on the right that means this is the point where the minima now comes then make a plus shift of 4 that means it will be shifted upwards again 4 points so shift this minima upwards by 4 points this is the point that you get so fx is equal to x minus a plus b the graph can be drawn by just looking at the graph of fx is equal to x square now the fourth type of transaction uh, transition that we'll be looking at will be in a modulus function so y is equal to mod x is the graph that you can draw very very easily that's a graph that looks something like this this is the graph for y is equal to mod x now in case you have a change this will be x minus a and this will be x plus a in case you have a change inside the modulus sign the graph will be shifted horizontally so this is similar to what we have just learned when we were doing the case of quadratic the graph will be shifted horizontally in case it is a minus sign it will be shifted on the right in case it is a plus sign it will be shifted on the left so this is how the graph will look like for a case where it is mod of x minus a so instead of the 0 0 being here the point of minima being here it will be shifted four places on the right this will be the graph for mod x minus 4 so if you just want to check if you put x is equal to 4 4 minus 4 would come out to be 0 which is the point of minimum for the other function the graph would be calculated as the one which is shifted onto the left how many places a places on the left so the point of minima from here would be shifted four places on the left and this will be the graph that you will get for mod x plus 4 it is a point it is a graph which is shifted onto your left now let's look at the next category of graphs the next category would be when the shift is outside the modulus sign so when the shift is outside the modulus sign the graph moves vertically so it will move up when it's a positive change and it will move down when it is a negative change similar to what happened when we were doing questions on quadratic transformations so if you look at this graph so this graph instead of being the minima at 0 0 has shifted four places up this will be the graph for mod x plus 4 and for the other it will be shifted four places down so minima instead of being at point 0 0 is shifted four places down at minus 4 0 so this will be the graph for mod x minus 4 whenever the shift is outside 
it will be moved vertically and whenever is the, the changes inside the modulus sign it will be moved horizontally so let's move ahead and look at the next transformation the next transformation would be a transformation which is based upon a concept of water image now this is a function that is given to you and we have already drawn the graph for this function the graph for this function is four places on to your left minus four on left that will happen because the change is inside so this will be moving horizontally now the other graph which is asked to you is negative of this so fx negative is gx so i have to draw the graph of gx which is minus of fx now whenever you have this kind of thing gx is minus of fx the images that will be formed will be water images of each other water images mean there will be an image which will be formed around the horizontal so around the horizontal an image will be formed for gx related to the corresponding graph for fx so fx the graph for fx would look like this we've already drawn the graph now gx would be an image around the horizontal image means whatever is up will come down and whatever is down will go up since there is nothing which is down nothing will go up so you will have an image around the horizontal so whatever is up will be, will become down. This is the figure that you will have for gx. Let's look at the next transformation. Now, what I have is a mirror image instead of a water image. What is a mirror image? Gx and fx. So in case of f of minus x is what is equal to gx. Mirror image is an image which is formed around the vertical so mirror image is formed around the vertical whereas water image is formed around the horizontal so this is how the graph would look like so you have you have a graph for mod x plus 4 which looks like this so it will be an image which will be formed around this vertical so whatever is on to your left will become an image onto your right so it will be an image that i'll get for this point on the right and whatever is on the right will become on the left so it's like you are looking in the mirror you are looking in the mirror whatever is on this side would come on the back side whatever is on this side would come on the back side so if you know the graph for fx which was this you just take the mirror image and you will get the graph for gx the only thing that you need to remember is mirror image is actually an even function so if you remember if f of minus x is equal to fx that is a even function that you have so that is the same thing which is happening here let's look at the next transformation it is a combined effect of both water and mirror, mirror image so gx is equal to minus fx also and gx is equal to f of minus x also so i'm combining water and mirror image this is if you remember by definition the definition of an odd function <coughs> so odd function is when your f of minus x is equal to fx so this is the odd function was symmetric around origin so i'll get an odd function when I take the mirror image and the water image both however you can take first mirror then water or first water then mirror it will be one as the same thing this is how the graph would look like so what I'll do is I will look at this function first I will first look at the water image for this so it will be an image that will come something like this and then I will look at a mirror image so this part will go here and this part will come on the left hand side so it will be like an image first around x-axis then around y-axis or first around x-axis and then sorry first around y-axis and then around x-axis so any way you like you can take the image and this will help you in making the graphs faster
so you will increase your speed thank you so much for watching the video i hope you have understood the concept of transformations for more questions uh, on this topic and other related topics you can move to our website edusathi.com have a nice day